everybody oh. from Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Hi there. Hey, uh, who's, who's, who's your uh, aromatic friend? This is Seth the Sloth. <laughs> Seth and he the loves Sloth. He loves to eat those blueberries. Oh, you want to grab a couple? Yeah. Now, the sloth has an aroma. Yep. It does have an aroma. They have a little scent gland there so, that lets... Oh, well, how do I mm -hmm. eat? You can like hold that? it carefully in your okay. fingers, and he'll eat very slowly and carefully. Okay, These are arboreal animals? Go. They're arboreal. Spends oh, his done. entire life hanging upside down from a tree. Except for now. He's, right and, now, and does he's he doing it right now. Does he think you're a tree? I hope so. <laughs> he's still And there, you can give him a little bit more. A little bit more. Why are they so slow? Well, their diet is leaves, and there's very little nutrition out of the leaves, so they're, they're ruminants. They're metabolizing it very slowly to get the nutrients out of it. Got it. Also, there are predators out there like harpy eagles, so they tend to blend with their environment mm. and move very slowly. So they eat leaves and blueberries? Leaves. Heard, today they're eating blueberries. It's a special I, treat. I heard that they um, only go to the bathroom like once a week. Well, can't you smell it? They had, uh, they will come. <laughs> They'll come down out of the it's tree to do that, yeah. and then sloth they will swim. Most people don't know that sloths are really good swimmers. Is that too. true? Yeah. They don't so, really look very like you know, <laughs> swimming. <laughs> Aerodynamic. They'll do yes. that, and then feel that fur. Feel the back of the fur, oh. the Ryan. It's it's oh. rainforest animal, so when the water yeah. hits it, it just beads up and runs off. Are they always this sweet? They, docile. They, well, this one had to be hand raised, so he's attached and printed to people. So he makes a wonderful ambassador for but his if species. But if you were if you were in the wild, you wouldn't want to do in this. In the wild, he'd stay up high you in the tree. There. The nice thing in the wild is you film them, you come by in the morning and you film them, you come back 10 hours later and they're still, still there. You finish Guys, filming. Right. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Okay. Never okay. Mind. Bye, sweetie. I'll take it. Thanks. I'm starving. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I am not, I, I'm know, not that, sure. I saw one of these in Mexico. Is this where they're from? Well, actually, South America. We okay. probably saw. It was on vacation. Big, yeah, it was on vacation. Me Mexico has similar-looking lizards. Yes. It was at a zoo. So these what kind is of, it? This is a tegu, South yeah. American lizard, and he's also a great climber, great yeah. swimmer. Is he um, friendly? Nervous. He's very friendly. He had, he's to, so had to be. Sweet. Oh, isn't he great? And yeah. feel how soft that he is. He feels amazing. You, actually, you can put your hand right oh, out yeah. there Come if, right if right you there. like. Yeah. You got him? Yeah, I got him. His nails are a little sharp. That's all right. But he'll inflate his jowls to look big to other animals. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> now, what does this lizard eat? This lizard, lizard eats all kinds of fruits and leaves and nuts and anything you can dig up out of, out of the ground. Um, and then it helps sort of disperse the seeds to regenerate the forest, it if you know it, like, I mean. it looks like it could be the inspiration for a spaceship. It right? does. Like the, it, the front, it could be like it's something in Star Wars. I love lizards so much, they and were, yet I'm so fearful of snakes. Why are, is that? Oh, well, they're cold-blooded. They have no human emotion. They right. have no expression. And historically, something snakes totally have been... Something you're totally familiar yeah. with. Yeah, okay. I guess you're right. <laughs> All right, we're going to be right back with Peter. Okay. There's more. We'll whisper. Uh, We're back with Peter it's Gross. Sides. Okay. Yes. Sides. Yeah. Sides. Oh, that's oh, wow. that incredible. Now that's it's a screech owl. A screech owl, and they get their name from this high-pitched sound that they make, which people hear certain times of the year. He blinks one eyelid. He's blinking. Yeah. In, but in, The owl's yeah. mite? Is this, the owl baby? This is him. This is a, a recording of the oh. actual sound he'd make. Is he but a look, baby? This is full grown. This okay. is as big as they get, and they're eating lots of insects and small worms and things. But in proportion to his eyes, his, look at how big his eyes That's are. so his beautiful. Eyes. Yes, they're spectacular. Perfect camouflage to blend into the Can, can they pivot their head? Can they? How do they turn? He does. He, he actually does? has extra vertebrae in his neck, so he can look 180 degrees behind him. Ah. Because his skull is so thick to house those huge eyes for night hunting with the extra rods and cones in them. Wow. So spectacular He's little so animal. Gorgeous. Yeah. Mesmerizing. I they, just they wanna, are. I, I mean, I just want to play with him, but I know he won't like that. <laughs> no. But I really want <laughs> right. to play it's with him. It's the one animal that know. wouldn't I like him. I want to give him a hug, but this he doesn't is, seem interested. You know, nature's absolutely silent hunter is what you're looking at. Oh. Okay, we're gonna let okay. him go back. Okay. I, when Peter ducks, we duck. Yeah, I know it's okay. so funny. Okay. When Peter ducks, we duck. All right. Oh. There we go. Okay. We go. What's happening? What's no, you're happening? good. Everything's fine. What's over here? Oh, this... oh hi. Yeah. This hi, is honey. A, well the anteater, right? This is the anteater. Yes, it's uh, Temindua. 
South, Ami you are. South American anteater. I mean, He's look got, at that tongue. That is crazy. Isn't that incredible? It's it's about nine and a half inches long. Yeah. With a special glue, he can stick it in. Look at these huge oh long gosh. nails. Oh my gosh! Like the claws. You can get a look at those. Oh yeah. Claws. So he just dug in there because he wanted more. Right now, in the wild, he'd be in a tree doing that, and he'd be ripping open bark to get to termites and ants. But he oh, will eat the, an orange if nothing else. In the is trees, available. he'll also the trees. eat the fruit. Uh huh. So it's a nice sort of a symbiotic relationship with the tree. He's he's ingesting things that would actually be harmful to the tree. Now, uh -huh. fe now feel this for. Is it okay? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. He's had to have been hand raised as well. Oh, wow. And then as they're moving through the forest, they tend to get pollen on their fur, so they're mm -hmm. kind of inadvertently helping to mm -hmm. pollinate the forest yeah. as well. Yeah. There's a scent. It, th th these glands are scenting to let other animals know that yeah. they're around. That they're around, yeah. right? And sort of warn them off this is my territory, this is where I'm eating, give me some space. Yeah. Right. And here we are, just closing in on them. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for being here. Great Thank to see you again. Always a pleasure. You so, so fun. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back.